So one fun thing about this, one giant fun thing about this 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 ruling, especially about Doma, is watching all of the right wingers freak the hell out over the rulings. It is so much fun. It is so much fun watching these evil bigots lose their bloody minds. And the, and if you think I, they're not losing their minds, just wait. I am going to give you so... They are losing their minds. I'm not going to lie. There's a good bit of uh, schadenfreude going on here in, in enjoying the pain of these horrible people. But I'm going to go through some of my favorites. I got... I pulled these from a lot of different sites, from Gawker, from Think Progress, the New York Times, from Twitter... Um, let's start out, let's start out with restaurateur, restaurateur, Dan Cathy. Dan Cathy is, of course, the founder and owner of Chick-fil-A, the famous hate chicken, the, the, the hateful chicken franchise. Chick-fil-A founder Dan Cathy tweeted, quote, Sad day for our nation. Founding fathers would be ashamed of our generation to abandon wisdom of ages, R.E., cornerstone of strong societies, end quote. So if you were wondering, if you were wondering, yes, yes, you still need to not eat at friggin' Chick-fil-A's. You still need to boycott those places. But, but he's right. What will our society do without its cornerstone? We are now cornerstoneless in our society. Michigan Congressman Tim Wahlberg. Michigan Congressman Tim Wahlberg, who I believe is no relation to Marky Mark or Donnie Wahlberg. Michigan Congressman Tim Wahlberg. I love this one. He said, he said, quote, society itself is at risk and cannot continue. End quote. That's right. Society itself is at risk. And cannot continue. Apparently, Congressman Tim Wahlberg thinks that society is now going to take its ball and go home? What? Society cannot continue? This ruling, this ruling was last week. And I'm pretty sure, let me look around here, let me look around. Yes, I can say with quite a bit of certainty that society hasn't stopped. It hasn't stopped. Well, yet, yet, maybe, maybe they just didn't get the memo. Maybe they didn't get the memo from Senator Funky Bunch over there. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's move on. The U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops. Those guys. The Catholic Bishops said, Today is a tragic day for marriage and our nation. Well, of course, if society has stopped, I'll say it's tragic. Society itself has stopped. It's stopped. It's tragic. The great Michelle Bachman, the great Michelle Bachman said, quote, No man, not even a Supreme Court, can undo what a holy God has instituted. End quote. Well, Congresswoman Bachman, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but they can and they did. They did both. They did them both. You, you, you think they didn't, but you look, look, they did. They did. It happened. It happened. I'm sorry. It happened. Keeping on, keeping on the, oh, how should I say this? The religious quack front. Mike Huckabee, the wonderful and glorious Mike Huckabee, he tweeted, quote, two words, two words. Jesus wept. <laughs> Oh, oh, Jesus wept. Jesus wept. You know, no mention, no mention from Mike Huck Huckabee that Jesus never mentioned homosexuals ever, that he never mentioned them ever, but oh well, oh well, he wept, he wept. Are you sure, Mike Huckabee, Huckabee, Mike Huckabee, Mike Huckabee, are you sure that they maybe weren't, oh, I don't know, tears of joy? Tears of joy of society finally getting its head out of its butt? I don't know, maybe they were. Huckabee wasn't done, he wasn't done. He actually also tweeted, quote, quote, Five people in robes said they are bigger than the voters of California and Congress combined, and bigger than God. May he forgive us all. End quote. May he forgive us all. 
Well, sadly, I would imagine that's probably out of the question, seeing as how we made his son Jesus weep. We made Jesus weep. You just tweeted that Jesus wept. How's God going to forgive us after we made his son cry? You don't, you don't forgive that if you're a father. Fathers don't forgive when you make their child cry. No, no, no. You hold that in. You hold that grudge. And, you know, five people in robes. Those must be some pretty nice robes. Let's get to the actual robes, the other robes, the four robes. Let's get to the actual uh, other Supreme Court justices who went against it. Let's get to Chief Justice John Roberts. Uh, He didn't write the full dissent. That was Scalia. But he actually, Roberts did in fact write um, when he upheld, voted to uphold DOMA, which the rest of the justices struck down. When Chief Justice John Roberts wrote in his dissent, he wrote, quote, I would not tar the political branches with the brush of bigotry, end quote. He would not tar the political branches with the brush of bigotry. Well, I have to tell you something. I would. I would. You know what? And I did. And I'm going to do it again. You know what? I would. I did. And I'll do it again. If you voted. If you voted for DOMA, if you voted to uphold DOMA, if you supported DOMA, if you did anything, hello, you are a bigot. There, I said it. You know what? I'll say it again. You are a bigot. I am past the point of nicety on this. It is 2000 bloody 13. If you fight against equality, you are a bigot, period. Now, Justice Roberts, take your brush of bigotry and go paint a rainbow, okay? Paint a rainbow with your brush of bigotry. I wonder I wonder if he got his brush of bigotry at the same hardware store where he personally bought his rake of racism. His rake of racism, which he used to destroy the Voting Rights Act. Friggin' justice. The brush of bigotry. The rake of racism. The, the shovel of sexism. But let's get to the best. I saved the best for last. And that is, of course, Scalia. Justice Antonin Scalia. Scalia wrote the official full dis- uh, dissent. And uh, it's amazing. You should read the whole thing. But we're going to read a couple quotes from it. Because because it, it, Antonin is, is, is a lot of fun. Again, this is from Antonin Scalia. Justice in his dissent against Doma. Quote, I have said... The real rationale of today's opinion, whatever disappearing trail of its legalistic argle bargle one chooses to follow, is that DOMA is motivated by bare desire to harm couples in same-sex marriages. Well, yes it is. Yes it is. That was actually the entire point of DOMA to prevent equality. That was what you were doing. You were defending against equality. You were assaulting equality. But come on, seriously, seriously. Argle, bargle, really? Argle, bargle. Look, I I, I gotta tell you, you know, Scalia, you know, sure he hates gays. Sure he hates minorities. But the man, the man does have a way with language, doesn't he? Really? Who says that anymore? Argle bargle. Oh, I may have to start. I may have to start bringing that into the show. Start saying argle bargle more. Uh, but he went on. He went on. He also said, "Quote: By formally declaring anyone opposed to same-sex marriage an enemy of human decency, the majority arms well." every challenger to a state law restricting marriage to its traditional definition. And, quote, and damn right it does. You're damn right it does, Scalia. And you know what? You know what, Justice Scalia? You know what? Anyone who is opposed to same-sex marriage is an enemy of human decency. They are. Are you are you are an enemy to human decency, Justice Scalia? And look, folks, there are a lot of issues. There are a lot of issues where there's gray area, okay? Where both sides have valid points and valid points of view and valid arguments. There are a lot of issues where gray area exists. Most issues, most issues that 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 exists. This one. This one, this is not one of those issues. 
Equality is not one of those issues. There is no gray area. There is zero gray area. Are either either you are for equality, you are for justice, or <laughs> as he said, as he said, you are an enemy to human decency. You know, frankly, frankly, I could not have surmised it better myself. Thank you and argle bargle, Justice Scalia. We'll be right back. <laughs> 